Welcome into another Gophers Film Room session. I'm Daniel House. This week I'm analyzing the Gophers 37 to 15 win over the Wisconsin Badgers. They claimed Paul Bunyan's axe for the first time in more than 15 years. Kind of a big win for this program to kind of solidify what PJ Fleck is trying to do with the program moving forward. It's important to start with the defense. This group has improved so much over the past three weeks with Joe Rossi taking over the play calling duties, setting the edge, the blitz alignments that they've had, the different packages that they have displayed throughout games, and the overall tackling fundamentals, discipline, playing fast, simplifying things down, just a few of the subtle adjustments they have made. In this game, the key was going to be the interior of this defensive line, handling the physical Wisconsin offensive line, Jonathan Taylor's tough running style, he picks up a lot of yards where he's simply just running through people because they're trying to arm tackle him. You have to fly to the football, gang tackle, and win the interior if you want a shot against the Badgers. They did just that. Taylor rushed for 120 yards in this one. Uh, the defensive line, the interior was really good. O.J. Smith and Royal Silver made their returns back to the lineup. And that just was a huge asset. Jamal Teague played well in limited snaps. They really have developed a nice rotation on the defensive line. So that's where we're going to start today. And I'll highlight a lot of the areas that I discussed in the opening here throughout this film session. So let me roll the tape here. Well, let's start with the interior of the defensive line. Wisconsin runs an inside running play. And O.J. Smith just commands a lot of attention. You can see the linebackers are able to flow downhill and make a run stop. That's what happens when you have good interior defensive line play. It continued again in this film cut here. O.J. wins his rep. Barber comes downhill ferociously and makes a play. Just look at the attention that's commanded over the center as O.J. Smith gets downhill and Gary Moore uh, gets into the backfield as well to create penetration. Another rep here inside run. Julian Huff comes into the game for the first time. Watch him take on the fullback here that comes around to the edge. And then you've got O.J. Smith in there just kind of staring the guy down after the play. He just, he just played unreal in this football game. He deserves a lot of credit for coming in and just changing the way the Gophers defense looks inside. He was dominant against a physical Wisconsin offensive line and wore them down as the day progressed. I can't say enough about Julian Huff's performance when Blake Cashman left for targeting early in the second quarter. Huff comes into the game and makes plays. Here he's getting downhill as a run defender. He was asked to do a lot in coverage too and made a great tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Limited rushing game play. Those are the kind of things that the Gophers had to do in this game to be successful and Huff provided a lot of value as a depth player in this game. This is where setting the edge comes into play. Carter Coughlin does a fantastic job of identifying here. Wisconsin's running a jet sweep look. It's coming at you right here. Coughlin sees the reach block. is like, I got to make sure I set the edge. Keandre Thomas squares up the fullback in the gap. Gary Moore gets off his rep and makes a TFL. This is the type of play the Gophers got burned on in the Nebraska and Illinois games because of a variety of things, not setting the edge and eye discipline, and it was fixed in the Wisconsin and Northwestern games. You'll see here Jacob Huff makes a play on the football. He was excellent in this game, both as a run support guy to prevent big plays and in this situation where he just steps in and makes a play on the football. Here's Huff coming up into the box and making a play as well. Helped prevent a lot of big plays from happening. Those 5 to 10 yard runs instead of popping off for like 40 yards like they were in the past. He's able to play more freely now. If you've been watching these videos, you know Chris Williamson's my guy. He's made a huge difference in these three games. His physical ability and coverage skills. Here we'll roll the tape. He's sent off the edge in a blitz situation. Prevents a quick throw and Hornybrook's unable to connect. This is the type of physical thing he can bring to this defense since they don't have Winfield. And then you watch this. Look at this play on the football. He's able to step in front of the pass and then make a play on the football, physical at the catch point. Williamson has been just fantastic for this team in the past three weeks, and it's made a huge difference. 
Different alignments and pressure packages have been the name of the game with Joe Rossi since he took over. Here you can see you've got Kamal Martin and Blake Cashman lined up in the A-gap, and one twist outside comes in via the B-gap and makes a play. It's really hard to see this because of the angle we have, but that's what happens. You've got a simple little alignment tweak that leads to pressure a sack and Hornybrook's unable to step up into the pocket because he's got a man right in his face. One trend since Joe Rossi took over as defensive coordinator is the Gophers' usage of coverage disguises. They're not as predictable in what coverage scheme they're playing, whether it's man or zone, and quarterbacks have had to make a few more decisions at the last second. This is a prime example, and it led to an interception by Alex Hornybrook. Let's roll the tape here. First, I want to show you how Coney Durr looks like he's taking the wide receiver in a man situation. In reality, he's dropping into zone, and Julian Huff is taking the running back in this situation. So Hornybrook's fooled. He throws to Ferguson because he thinks he's going to have a window to get the pass in there. But when Coney Durr drops into this zone, it throws everyone off. Hornybrook's reads way, way, way delayed and it leads to this interception, which was kind of a key moment in the game, gave the Gophers some life, and they had four takeaways and managed to score points off of those and change the tide of the game. So, one last time for you, here's the knee, the celebration as the Gophers claim the axe in Madison, a win nobody would have expected three weeks ago, and that's largely due to Joe Rossi's ability to make adjustments and put guys in the best position to be successful. He certainly has earned the head job next year as a defensive coordinator when P.J. Fleck removed the interim label after the game. This was just a huge win, and it started with the defensive performance and shutting down Jonathan Taylor.